Welcome to Cayman Brack, our former home, and in my opinion, one of the best places in all of the world. Right now, we are at the lighthouse on the bluff, at the highest point of the bluff. The Caribbean Sea is behind me in all of its glory and beauty. And today, we thought it would be so much fun to show you where we used to eat, where we used to live, our favorite beaches, even all the things that happen underwater here. We're gonna just take you along with us and have the funnest day as you discover one of our most favorite special places. This is and agave. When it nears the end of its season, it shoots up these. That little yellow thing right there. They call that the agave shoot. We chop it down, spray paint it gold, put it in a bucket, fill it up with sand, and we have ourselves a Kamanian Christmas tree. And we string lights on it and we put ornaments on it. And I'll show you a picture of the one that we did the first year we were here. So we are coming off the bluff and going to the bakery. And y'all know I like me a good old bakery. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is hilarious. So I was just trying to film a shot of TC walking into Pioneer Bakery, but somehow I put it on slow-mo and now he looks like some type of bakery war hero just trying to get his pastries and save the day all at once. Hilarious. Give the man a cape. <laughs> Anyways, this is Pioneer Bakery. And while it doesn't look like much, we love this place. Um, our favorites there are the meat patties, kind of like empanadas, and their coconut bread, so yum, love it. After the bakery, we drove into Spot Bay, which is a community on the far east side of Cayman Brack. This is probably the most concentrated area of locals. It's a super tight-knit community. It's colorful, really artistic. You'll find beautiful murals, colorful houses, even like unique lawn decor all over the place. It's really beautiful to drive through, super fun to see everything in the way that people have decorated. Also, make sure to stop at the Heritage House. Um, visit our friend Saskia. She can tell you all about the history of the Brack there at the Heritage House. Go to Spot Bay Cove, talk to the locals, hang out with them. Um, you'll just get a really cool, authentic experience. Um, but for now, we will say goodbye to the slow-mo and get you back into normal speed. Here we go. I just seared the back of my leg sitting down on these steps. Like, I'm talking, they are not okay. All right, we're at the most special place ever, which is Fellowship Baptist Church which is the whole reason why we lived here in the first place. And I don't know, like after all these years coming back, it's just as sweet and like there's so many good memories here, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, these people were our family and I think it's yeah. honestly, it's the reason we came back nine years later. It's just because um, we just, we love these people and they've been, been so genuine to us. You know, there's a part of it that feels like we just left like a couple a couple weeks ago. It really honestly. does. So to be back here at Fellowship um, is sweet, man. Being here Sunday, getting to preach, just pray with the people, seeing hope stir up in them, and seeing them dreaming about, you know, reaching the island is just yeah. super fun. So um, overall, just very encouraging here. And uh, I don't know, I'm, it's sweet being back here. It's like really a, good memories. This this was just the view right across the street. Um, Sunset. So it's were... awesome. Impeccable. Just every once in a while you'll see people just sitting on the side of the road having a conversation like this. So um, we're trying to be Kamanian by doing this. And if you see somebody on the side of the road, you just pick them up for a ride if they need it. It's very, very normal. I was yes. on my walk the other day. Absolutely. And a guy stopped and he was like, do you need a ride? And I was like, no, I'm just walking. I mean, yeah, that was a normal, normal part of our day is just picking up people and taking them from one point to the next. Hey, you need a ride? Casey yeah. and Daniel. Yes. Yeah. Hello, nice seeing you back yeah. on the Brack. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite thing about the Brack? Oh, well, the peace and tranquility. Yeah. It's good. You're no right. No crime, you know. Yeah. And I um, it's everything that goes on. Mm -hmm. You know, the Brack is, I mean, hot, but you can live with that. Thank God for the Brack. I'm about to go into Star Island, which is one of our favorite restaurants, and get myself some jerk chicken. This is where TC gets turtle on Sundays, right, except for this current Sunday. Look at your stuff. You get antsy? Yes. Here. 
Hold the bottle. Danielle didn't buy me food. That's because you're, did you want food? I'm so sorry, I didn't even ask. She didn't give me food. Did you want food? My beef patties were not enough. You had two beef patties and a cinnamon roll. I didn't eat the cinnamon roll. Yes, you did eat the cinnamon roll. This is a CI. Okay, uh, the conversion, I just typically do it in my head. How much money do I have in my hand? Like 15 bucks? Which is probably kind of a little bit closer to 20 bucks, probably about 18 US. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Scott Stock, and I just cannot express to you how blue the water is. I'm never ever gonna get over it. People come and uh, clean fish here, and then they throw the guts. But see, they're coming closer because they think I'm about to throw them some food, which. I, in fact, am not. They know they can get some snacks here. Look at this water. I will never get over the water. Uh, oh my gosh, I almost just slid in the water. Don't run away. How nice. I think that's the most polite bird I've ever seen. No, he wants to peck the heck out of you. But know. he didn't. That makes no, you polite. Oh, oh he, he just, it. he just, he just, he just pooped in my honor. Bye, guy. We made friends. See you later. Guys, this is Diego. This is my pet iguana. I haven't seen him in eight years. Buddy. He always hated me, but I fed him salad. So while Danielle plays with the iguanas, I typically go scuba diving. And uh, what I love about the brack is the water clarity um, and just the amount of things you get to see. Um, here, I'm about 110 feet deep. Um, and it's just beautiful. Um, that free swimming moray eel right there is uh about 100 feet deep and um you can see you know probably 200 feet um with the visibility that we have here and so on the island there's a lot of these grouper um i had a pet grouper uh named george that would swim up to me this isn't george but it's his cousin um and barracudas all over the place here there's a little arrow crab um but there are just uh there's so much sea life so much uh to see at all different depths i mean you can start at 10 foot deep and see all kinds of fish these are angel fish right here swimming in pretty shallow water but i think the best thing here um are the turtles and i uh, this is a pair of turtles that were hanging out um and uh honestly they just they just chill they let you hang out with them and uh, they're all over the place um, in the Cayman Islands. Um, but this particular trip, these were the only ones I saw. So it was a special thing for sure. All right, I am en route to the very far end of the island to catch the sunset. And I almost didn't make it, but I think that I'm getting here in time. Hi, he's Kino. <laughs> it's Kino TC. Yeah. Or maybe you're Danielle. Yeah. Yeah. Kino is one of the best things about the Brack. He is. Tell us what your favorite thing about the Brack is. What's your favorite thing about me? Favorite. Most favoritest <laughs> thing is. Most favoritest thing is? Well. Besides the fact, me. The fact that TC and Danielle are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, my favorite thing about the Brack is, the, is this small, little, tight knit community. You know, it feels like everybody's family. Even someone that you won't kick out your family, but there's, there's <laughs> it's definitely the family. <laughs> That's, it's a fun, okay, so Kino is the most like fun, 
famous tour guide <laughs> of the Brack. So give us a look, really yeah. good Brack, <laughs> a Brack <laughs> fact All right. you give on your tours. All right. So the word Brack is actually a Scottish word or Gaelic word meaning bluff or plateau. Plateau. It came I on. told you. I told her that today. <laughs> I think it means bluff. I think it means rock. Who will win the argument? <laughs> okay. We got an argument. I thought it meant rock. <laughs> or plateau. A caiman is a crocodile that's no longer here. It's not extinct, really? but it's no longer here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, crocodile bluff. All right. We love to Thanks, know. Thanks, dude. I love them too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Morning. It's day two of our island tour. We're starting here on the far west side of the island. So yesterday we started on the far east. Now we're at the far west. We're on the south side of the island. So today we're going to show you some of our favorite beaches and also where we live when we were here. So let's do it. It's going to be fun and we're going to try to do it before it's a thousand degrees outside because right now it's 900 degrees. Let's do it. All right, so this is one of our most favorite resorts on the island. It's called Cayman Brack Dive Resort. Now it used to be called Brack Reef. That's what I refer to it still. But they have a few restaurants that are really good, home of the best jerk mayo ever. And obviously the views are insane. So there's a pool, there are hammocks, and also there's a place that you can dive. So it's a really great place. We come here a lot. And when we lived here, we came here probably like twice a week, right T? Yeah. So, anyways, we love this place, and it's stunning. Is this your favorite beach on the island too? Um, or is it mine? This is my favorite. Well, beach on yeah. The first time we ever came to the Brack, I went here and I caught the first bonefish I've ever caught in my life at this place. That's so, um, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. But here's the thing. It's not marked. You think you're just driving into the woods. Show, show, show the people. Show the people. This is Tierra Beach. Best beach. We have so many memories here. Like we just come and hang out with friends here. Um, it's super low key. And uh, not a, there, there's usually not a lot of tourists here on the island anyway. But if you find anybody out here, it's going to be a local. And they're just going to be having fun. And so this whole beach here um, is a grassy flat. Uh, for the most part with a few little sandy areas and the grassy flat serves as like this awesome place for bonefish and other fish to come in and feed so I would come here just about every morning and I would fish and I'd make my way out on this little makeshift pier and uh, when I got out to the end I don't know how many times I fell in the water because it gets really slick there's like this algae that grows on it it gets kind of slick at the end and I lost so many cell phones here um, and found out that it doesn't matter uh, how much rice that you have in a bag with your cell phone, if it's been in salt water, it's no good. So anyway, lost a lot of technology here, but it was well worth it. Broke fly rods here on big fish, totally worth it. Uh, got a hook through my hand here, totally worth it. Um, so yeah, we, we love Tierra Beach. This is the Little Blue Beach House. This is the first place we lived, and obviously it's under renovation right now. It's been sold since we lived here, but we'll show you the backyard because it's incredible. It was just a beautiful place to live. There's a path down to the water. Maybe it we was... can find some pictures of yeah. what it used to look oh, like. Oh, hold on, let me do my pitch, pitch, pitch. Those are pictures. We're kind of rushing back to the car now because we don't know who owns this place. The things we're doing to show you the history of us in Kamania. This is Cayman Brack traffic. It's really bad today. There's one vehicle in front of us that's going the speed limit. Do you need to make a caveat about the, the fact that you wore the same shirt two days in a row but it's been washed? Nope. <laughs> so the bluff divides the island north and south. Um, so we're on the south side. Did I get you? <laughs> One of the fun stories is that um, we lived in uh, in that blue house when we first moved here. In the middle of the night, uh, 
Danielle wakes me up. She hears all this craziness um, going on in the living room. And uh, it sounds like there's somebody there. It sounds like, you know, there's, there's something in the house. And we go out and our door, um, like we had French doors that um, overlooked uh, the sea and everything. And the storm that had come through blew the doors off the hinges. And uh, the hinges were loose. It was just flapping there. And, um, and so we ended up having an insane night. We put the, uh, the hurricane shutters on and everything after that. And, uh, but that was like our first like big storm experience here on the Brack. And uh, it was lovely. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go out now and show you a little bit more, and you can just see just the raw beauty of this place. We are at the far end of the island, and um, this is the most southeast portion of the Brack. We are walking along the Iron Shore. It's very rocky, um, as you can see behind me. And from what I understand, the Iron Shore is prehistoric coral reefs, which would mean that all this at one point in time was underwater it was a coral reef which the interesting thing about that is the top of the brack is still the same material so i guess at one point in time the whole island was underwater so anyway we just took a a nice journey out here to reminisce um on the good old days when we would come out here um one of the places we stayed at was just right down the way here and this was just a normal evening stroll for Danielle and I. A lot of fun memories here. It feels just kind of untouched. Yeah, and I, it's so untouched. That's one of my most favorite things. Right, and I think that's what makes the whole island of the Brack uh, really nice is that for the most part, I mean, tourists come here, but it's not like over commercialized. And so the beaches are natural, like the way they would have been thousands of years ago. It's like, if you come here, get to know Comanians, like get to know them, go to fellowship, go hang out, at local spots like Star Island, like get to know people. They will want to get to know you and they're incredible. All right, we'll see you inside the cave. Are you struggling? No, So we have made it to the cave um i went a bit more inside of it than danielle wanted to go but um <laughs> but uh yeah the caves are, are really cool around here but they'll tell you that some of these caves became homes to people during hurricanes and a safe haven the stories of pirate treasure and whatnot stored in these caves which i think is pretty epic anyway yeah man the caves around the brack are super fun and a break from the sun uh, and a hot, well, I don't have to break from the heat because I am dripping right now and I look like a beat that's about to explode. So there's a house coming up here that, it's that one right there. They had, I was walking down here when we lived on this side and they had two dogs and I had my earphones in like very into my music and I just glanced over and saw these two huge dogs running at me I screamed bloody murder. Like, I'm talking like shrill, high-pitched. I thought they were attacking me. The owner ran out because he thought there was an issue, and then they just ran up to me with their tails wagging, and I felt like the biggest idiot on the whole entire planet. We're arriving at Cayman Breakers, which is the second place we lived. This is where the creepy statue used to live. It is so weird how something can, like a smell, can take you back. It just brings me back to living here. It's so crazy. So this is the central part. And TC would go fishing out here. Yeah. This is our old home, Cayman Breakers. I was watching House Hunters International and they. this was one of the places that they came to on the Brack and they bought it and I just loved that. I was like, look, my home. I Thing that we have found actual Kamanian paradise. We have this place all to ourselves thanks to our friends. So basically, this is owned by a resort here on the island, but they haven't opened this place up to public yet. So we're going to give you a tour. This place is incredible. Do you love it or do you love it? I love that. So we came in over here and there's this little courtyard here. And the thing with the resort, 
is that the thing with this resort is that it's known for its white buildings and its ivy and so it's got like a bunch of trellis over here and so many beautiful like just native island plants so that's stunning and then as we turn this way we've got the beautiful palm trees you've got the pool and then obviously you can see the ocean out that way and we'll go over there but right now this Right now, there's the pool, and as we move on, we've got the white sand, which is a rarity on the brack, and you've got the beautiful ocean. And the coconut. Coconut. And so sweet, they put out two beach chairs for us. <laughs> we have basically this entire coastline to ourselves. This. <laughs> Zizi's all the way out there. <laughs> Anyone who knows TC knows that at some point he's going to become a sea captain. And just let his beard and hair grow and become matted in the salty air. Listen. God is so kind. He does the most personal and sweet, sweet things for his children. And um, that's not lost on me today. So we're gonna go have some fun. And if we find anything else fun to explore, we'll take you along with us. Okay, this place was absolutely magnificent. I'm walking to the road to see the name of the place. I'll show you the sign. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And now my chariot awaits. This is my pirate TC, and this is the ship he captains. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> <laughs> 